Now, with this, President Trump could be just the third president to be impeached from office. Today, we caught up with young voters and a political science professor. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live at Independence Mall in Old City with more in reaction to what could be a historical move. Howard. Yes, President Trump, he could join the likes of Andrew Johnson and Bill Clinton by being impeached. Richard Nixon, he resigned from office before Congress could vote. Now, constitutional scholars, they say that whatever happens next today will go down in the history books. When the history of this day is taught, it will be taught alongside Andrew Johnson, alongside Richard Nixon, and alongside Bill Clinton. Dr. Matthew Kerbel is a political science professor at Villanova University. He says President Trump may be on the verge of joining a small group of sitting U.S. presidents to be impeached by the U.S. House of Representatives. Speaker Nancy Pelosi outlined the articles of impeachment against President Trump Tuesday morning. The first order of business for members of Congress is the solemn act to take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. The two articles of impeachment were for abuse of power in dealing with Ukraine and obstruction of justice for not cooperating with Congress's investigation. For the House of Representatives to, an impe to impeach a president is one of the strongest powers that they hold. To exercise that power is extraordinarily significant. The articles of impeachment were drafted after months of investigations by two House committees. On Independence Mall, just steps away from where the Constitution was written and signed, people have their own opinions on the impeachment. We're all aware of what's going on, of what has been done by our president. Um, I think that we need to speak up against it. I, I think it's more political than anything. I don't think they established a case, a strong case for impeachment. Now, for the president's part, he tweeted five times today about the impeach impeachment. One of them simply read, witch hunt. Now, coming up when we see you at 6 o'clock, hear more about what the next steps in this process could look like. But for now, live at Independence Mall, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Howard, thank you.